Hello, I'm Michael Gashi, product owner for Adobe Prelude CS6. In this video, we'd like to show you how to create rough cuts and then take those rough cuts out of Prelude and send them into Premiere Pro or Final Cut Pro. So let's begin. We have a project that already has media within it. We've went ahead and generated a few sub clips that we're going to be using for our rough cut. But just as a quick refresher, here's how you can create a rough cut. I've got some media open and I want to go ahead and take a snapshot of a sub clip and start right here. I'll hit the one key and it automatically drops a subclip marker for me. I can change the name to this is the take. And then I'll go ahead and grab the player, send it to an out point, hit the O key, and now I have just defined a subclip within this video. Now to hop over to creation of a rough cut, the best way to do that is to click on the little new rough cut button down here in the project panel, and it'll come up with this dialog where you can choose the location and the name of your rough cut. We'll just call this test rough cut two. And you can see in the project panel, we now have a new item called test RC2 for our rough cut. I'm just going to double click and open that up and we're ready to go ahead and drop media into this timeline. So putting sub clips into a rough cut is easy. You simply select it inside the project panel and you grab it and drag and drop into the timeline. Now you can see that for the sub clip that we put into the timeline, it also has a marker associated with it that we created earlier when we were logging the clips. I'm going to grab the next take and drag it to the end. And you can see I'm slowly building my story, one subclip at a time. And you can see there's another comment marker for that subclip. And then finally, here's the last piece. So rough cuts in Prelude are just simple sequences. There are cuts only, no effects, no transitions. And as you can see, they also have audio down at the bottom. I can now play back this rough cut. So now that I've told my story, it's time to send it off to an editor to make it look really nice and polished. If you're working on the same system as where you're logging your media and building your rough cuts, and you want to send this to Premiere Pro, it's very simple. You select your rough cut in the project panel, go to the file menu and select send to Premiere Pro. When you do that, Premiere Pro will come up and here are all the new items that we've just sent over. Here's our test RC2 for our rough cut. And then we have all of the media. These are actually the master clips that were associated with the subclips inside that rough cut. They're all available for us to use. Our rough cut has become a sequence now inside Premiere. To open the sequence, just double click and you can see it appear here in the timeline. I'll zoom in a little bit. And you can see not only do we have the clips, but also the metadata, the markers are here as well. So we can double click on, on this track item and you can see it appear here in the source monitor and there is our comment marker. So this is a great way to kind of get your thoughts and your vision from Prelude when you're generating the rough cut into Premiere to let the editor know what you had in mind. So you can also trim directly here within the timeline as well. Simply grab the edges and you can see you have full access to the media inside Premiere. So switching back to Prelude really quick, there's other ways you can actually take this rough cut out of Prelude and get it into your editor. If you're not going to be using your editor on the same system as Prelude, you want to package up your media and your rough cut and send it off. To do that, you select the rough cut and then go back to the file menu. This time, select the export command. This brings up the export dialog with several options. The first one is the destination. You can either choose a local disk location, which is really any mountable drive or mapped server drive that you've got on your computer, or you can choose FTP server and use the built-in Prelude FTP capabilities. Since we're going to generate a project out of our rough cut, you want to select the project option and you can give it a name and then a type. By default, we've got Premiere Pro, but you can also package it up for a Final Cut Pro editor as well. To include the media, make sure you check this box as well. This will instruct Prelude to go ahead and wrap up all the master clips used in your rough cut, put them into a media subfolder that sits alongside your project file so that they're ready to go when you open up the project. Finally, click the OK button and you'll be prompted for a location. We'll choose the desktop, new folder, we'll say export rough cut, hit OK. And now it's generating all the files and copying all the media and you're done. You're ready to go and take that project and send it off to your editor. So that was a quick look at how you create rough cuts inside Adobe Prelude. We hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you for your time.